there's a very, very strong son preference over daughters. What's the point of my investing in her education, in sending her to school? Because she's just going to go get married and live in somebody else's house. So why should I invest in her? I don't get anything back. If I have a son, when I grow old, my son looks after me. My name is Safina Hossein and I'm the founder of Educate Girls. Educate Girls is a non-profit organization that's working in critical gender gap districts to find every single girl who's out of school, bring her into the school system, make sure she's staying and learning. Uh, convincing a family to let their daughters do, go to school is a fairly long process. So we have community volunteers who we call Team Balika, who are young, educated people from the same village. They will get the village leader involved, they will get the headmaster and the teachers involved in actually creating that dialogue. Chetan Kumar, come down. Come down. Come down. So Nana Lal's story is really, really special. When he was around four years old, he had been infected with polio. And so he lost the use of his uh, legs. His brothers carried him to school. So with great difficulty, he actually made it past 12th grade. And he is more educated now than his brothers. Sir, I had a lot of pressure to do this work. I was doing it door-to-door, and I was doing it with a lot of pressure. Sometimes I was a little bit of a person, but I didn't get a job at home. My dream is that I also be a teacher, and that my home also be a teacher. And that we will be able to go to our home. हाँ वो क्या टीना स्कूल इसलिए नहीं आते थे उनके घर पर काम करवाते थे उनके मम्मी पापा जैसे बकरे चलाने पानी लाने का मतलब किचन का कुछ भी काम हो वो सब कुछ काम कराते थे एक दिन मैं चली गई उनके घर पे मैंने बोला था उनको मम्मी को ये काम नहीं करवाने चाहिए लड़की को पढ़ाना चाहिए इनके आगे कुछ भी होते दिक्कत पड़ती तो भी ये संभाल सकती है घर मकान सब कुछ जो उनको टीना को मैं साथ में लाती हूँ इसको और फिर इनका नामांकन करवा के फिर स्कूल में आती थी और ये बता हूँ मेरे को पहले बड़ी होकर क्या बनना है अभी आपको मेरा अब तो ये घर का काम अच्छा लगता है ये स्कूल का काम घर का स्कूल का घर का काम अच्छा नहीं लगता in the early years and for five months my staff went without a paycheck and nobody quit you can say that was a really dark time for me because I totally felt like I failed as a leader but everybody turned around and said to me so don't worry and we're here and the work will continue um, and it was incredible I need to keep 100% of my funders staying with me year on year, and then I need to go out and find another, you know, 50% uh, more of my month budget in terms of new money, and that's a constant struggle. I think the sacrifices that you have to make even in your own personal life are, are a lot. I mean, I travel so much. I mean, I'm very, very, very lucky that my husband is willing and able to look after the children while I'm away. Um, you know, a long time ago, he said to me, he says, your mission is my mission. And he really lives that statement. Otherwise, it's impossible to do it. Do you see any ships? There. Ships. Over there? Yeah. That's, a nice, that's a lighthouse. Is that a lighthouse? Or some yeah. signal. Come, let's go up. 
So I want to show you some pictures with my dad. So this is on my graduation day with my daddy. You know, I was the first one in my family to get into London School of Economics. The first time anybody in the history of our family that got into a, a you know, university overseas and was going to go and study abroad. He had sold his business and he wanted to use that money to pay for uh, my college education. I was setting up a clinic in the Himalayas, in, in the mountains, and my father came to help me. And women were talking to him, and, and they asked him, they said, how many children do you have? And he looked at me and he said, this is it, you know. And the women started crying, beating their chests, crying out to God, saying, why did you curse this man with just a daughter? And like my father just put his arm around me and he said, this is my daughter, this is my son, this is my everything. My biggest champion was my father, who was like, out there, you know, um, fighting for, for what he felt the opportunities that I should have. And, and that's what I'm really in the business of doing, is cloning my father for, for the world at large. Now we're going to read this one. The minute I got into the development sector work, I knew that this is what I wanted to do. Because for me, the money piece wasn't so important, but the fulfillment was really, really, really key. And I needed to get up every day and feel like, what I'm doing has value, uh, and has value for society. Good night.